Well, that gospel reading put me in mind of a couple of trips that I've taken and um, a couple, couple years ago now, I guess it was 2022, I went to the city of Jerusalem where our gospel story takes place and you can still see the, the Temple Mount uh, in Jerusalem, but guess what? The temple and all the buildings that they're talking about in the beginning of this gospel story are gone. Um, but there are still some of those huge stones that the, that the temple was built out of and that the temple mount was built out of, and they're easily a, as wide as this, probably just a little bit wider, and they're like this tall, and they're giant and you wonder how people without um, cranes and mechanical things built this huge, because it wasn't just the temple, they, they built this huge wall all the way around the mountain that the temple was built on, then they flattened it and they built a the temple on that. And so you can still see some of those stones that Jesus uh, and his disciples were talking about. And so Jesus predicted that all of those stones would fall down. Now the gospel was written right around the time, maybe right before the time when the Romans decided that they were going to destroy the temple and, and destroy Jerusalem. And that's what they did. It was the Romans who tore down all those big buildings and they wrapped ropes around each and every stone and they pulled every one of them down because the Romans were not very nice people, um, for one thing. So, it's kind of a, it's kind of a scary story, right? Um, I've got these um, bricks here. And um, as you can tell, they're not, they're not stone. They're not big. They're actually cardboard. W would you guys, you wanna knock these down? Yeah, okay. Hold on, hold on, one, one fell down. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move these and sort of guard them. You guys, go for it. How, how, how do you think it would be best to knock this down? Like you can really strategize here. Does it need to go this way, that way? You know the story of, um, of the three little pigs, right? Do um, you guys wanna try to blow the, the wall down? Yeah? It, it might work, I mean, they're just cardboard. See what, see what you can do. Now, you, I, have, I have done some, some, uh, some structural reinforcement on, on the back side there, you'll notice. Yeah, yeah, okay, yep. All right, good job. So, you know, walls and, uh, and buildings, um, guess what? They, uh, they're, they're really strong, right? Unless, unless, unless you make them out of straw or, or sticks or whatever, um, or blankets, like you've ever built one of those, um, like a, a fort in your, in your living room, uh, or pillows. You know, but, but buildings made out of real actual bricks, they're strong and they last a long time. This, this building was built in 1950, which is a lot longer than I've been alive and a lot longer than you guys have been alive. Um, sorry, y'all. <laughs> no offense. Um, but, but buildings last a really long time, but guess what? Buildings don't last forever. In fact, no buildings last forever. I've also been to one of the oldest cities in the world and they've dug down and they found the ruins of, of buildings that existed 10,000 years ago. They're, they're not there anymore. There's just maybe uh, a, you know, a couple of bricks laying around. So buildings don't last forever. Uh, and, and in fact, nothing in this world lasts forever. We don't last forever. But there is one thing that lasts forever. And it's, it's the point behind our gospel reading. It's also the point of our psalm that, that I really, really, really like. Psalm 16 is one of those psalms that when you're feeling worried or afraid, you can open up your prayer book, you can open up your Bible to Psalm 16, and you can read that because it talks about something that lasts forever. And that is God's love 
for each of you. God's love lasts forever. And so when the psalmist is, is saying that his boundaries enclose a, a goodly heritage, which is a, a goofy um, phrase, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to us. What, what, it, what it's saying is that the protection of God, the love of God is built around us like a wall, like a fence, like something that protects us and keeps us safe, like the, the pen there with the, um, the sheep. Um, in fact, that's another metaphor that Jesus uses is, is that he is the sheepfold that keeps the sheep safe. God's love for us will never fall down. God's love for us can never be destroyed. And so no matter what happens, no matter if there are bad things happening in the world, no matter if your building is falling down, no matter what happens, we can remember that God's love for us will never fail and we can rest in that love just like a cozy house that will never, ever, ever fall down. And that is really, really good news. Amen.